What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to go over how to install plugins onto your proxy servers. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial we upload, just like this one. Within Minecraft gameplay, plugins are often used to expand gameplay. Proxy servers link multiple servers together, and it is possible to add plugins to these proxy servers as well, which can even further expand gameplay elements across all of your servers. With Apex Hosting, it's super easy to install plugins onto your own server, and just as easy to install it onto your proxy server. Quick note before we get started, a majority of proxy servers such as Bungie Cord automatically have Bucket built into it. This means that a plugins folder should already be generated, allowing for easy drag and drop uploads of the plugins. There are two types of proxy plugins that can be used. The first being proxy side plugins. They're specifically made to be installed on a proxy server and they communicate accordingly. An example of this is Luckperms which has a proxy specific download available. These types of plugins will often affect the proxy server itself or provide changes that can affect all connected servers at once. The second type is server side plugins. These are plugins that are installed onto normal servers, but can communicate with other servers that are linked through a proxy server. An example are server selector plugins, which can transfer players between servers from in-game. The process for installing proxy plugins is super, super easy, and it's also similar to other bucket-based server plugin install processes. Our first step for installing, you're gonna go ahead and head to your desired proxy plugin website. For this example, we're gonna be using Spigot. On Spigot, you can find lots of plugins for Bungie Cord. Plus, it's one of our most trusted websites. Go ahead and find a plugin that you'd like for your proxy servers. Then once you find your plugin, go ahead and find the download for said plugin. Download the plugin, and once the plugin is done downloading, go ahead and move the file over to a folder where you can easily locate it later on for further installation. Now that you've downloaded this plugin, you're gonna go ahead and start off installing by heading to your main server panel page and stopping our server. Once your server's come to a full stop and is in offline mode, you can go ahead and click on FTP file access to the left of the page. Log in with your info and then go ahead and click on the plugins folder. Once you're in the plugins folder, go ahead and click upload at the top left and once you're on the upload page, go ahead and grab your files from the folder and click and drag them to the upload part of the page. Once all of your files are uploaded at 100%, go ahead and click on the name of your server at the top of the page and either start or restart your server. Once your server starts up, your plugin should now be installed and it should be accessible for you to use in game or through configuration. Overall, adding plugins to your proxy setup is a great and easy option to add new features to your server, improve aesthetics, or mod your servers. With so many compatible plugins, there are many to choose from and to add to your game. It could be tough to know where to start, so we're also going to provide some common plugins you can take a look at linked below the video. And consider using them for your own Apex server. Well folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.